What is going on, everyone? Badger here. Should have liked and sub, and let's get into this. So we've known for about a year that they were going to go full Afro Samurai with the next Assassin's Creed. Uh, it had been called Assassin's Creed Red originally, and now, of course, as they announce, it is called Assassin's Creed Shadows. It's a little bit on the nose. Uh, and yeah, when we find out, you're going to be able to, much like Syndicate, you will be playing as two different characters, one male, one female. And of course, one of them is a black samurai, of course, based on the one black guy in Japan the, of note who wasn't an actual samurai, even though Wikipedia would have you think otherwise, which is that basically boils down to the same people that say, I don't care what they tell you in school, Cleopatra is black type of revisionist here, uh, history, but... Let's start this off bit by bit because it is, there's a couple layers to this. Japan ain't exactly happy for several different reasons and everyone else, well, this is just par for the course. The difference is while we did know about this a year ago, boy, has a lot happened in the last year. Most notably the exposure of Sweet Baby Inc. and all the ESG and DEI inclusion standards and it's just... The so reason all these games have been failing is because they can't course correct and these decisions were made years ago. And so here it is. You're getting a black samurai. And yeah, no one is complaining about the female uh, ninjutsu or whatever she's, she is. That That's fine. But a lot of the narrative is, oh, so you waited for Japanese people to get their representation and then promptly gave it to black people. I see. So starting out, before we get anything, the title of The Stolen Valor Granted, this is an Ian Miles Chong article, so I apologize for that. But the point still still stands. We with Samurai, uh, the woke love to talk about cultural appropriation and how it's wrong to do so. So let's talk about how Ubisoft, a French company, is culturally appropriating Japanese culture through DEI with their latest game, Assassin's Creed Shadows. They are rewriting Yasuki, a black man who arrived in the indentured service of Italian missionaries to Japan as a full-blown samurai sword master. In reality, he was a servant. He was the first black man that Daimo Oda Nobu uh, Naga had ever seen and asked the Italians to hand him over to him, kind of like a pet, which they did. And this is notable. Now he's being snarky and shit, but it is, it was a novelty. He was asked to go around and do feats of strength, exaggerated as they may be. One did not refuse the dime, uh, the daimo. Being the only black person in Japan, Yusuke became one of Nobunaga's treasured possessions, and Nobunaga vassalized him into his retinue, gave him a short sword, and had him accompany him all over the place. By all accounts, Nobunaga liked uh, Yusuke. His stay was pretty brief, though, about three years. And of course, this is what Afro Samurai was loosely based on. And anytime they feel the need to do anything, that is, of course, they base it on this. And I should point out that this started, here is the original Wikipedia article, uh, essentially detailing what you just read in that article, that there was little to no evidence or historical writings that he was actually considered a samurai. He was never given a fief, fiefdom, or referred to in any of the writings, with the exception of missionaries and locals uh, afterwards. And then, but this led to uh, the showing that there was a, a war between Wikipedia, because you can never trust Wikipedia, of uh, people going back and forth changing it. And so Theo Zilla here was continuously editing it, uh, editing it, trying to say that he was a samurai without sources, saying he doesn't need sources. Again, it's very much like we saw with the Cleopatra documentary where they had the lady saying, I don't care what they tell you in school. Cleopatra was black. And it's like, I don't care what they tell you. Yasuke was a samurai, even if even if he wasn't, but that has all led to uh, Grums uh, sharing this, someone claiming they worked on this before it was changed to be a black samurai. Uh, this was before all the George Floyd stuff, the summer of love that I think really made them decide to uh, switch it up specifically to a black male. Um, and here we go. The original plot focused on a young monk uh yamauchi taka as the playable ancestor taka means hawk to coincide with the then naming convention of every playable hero being named after a bird of prey um the main conflict was of course about the sword of eden aka excalibur uh genghis khan's sword we've seen it but many pieces of eden uh swords we've seen but specifically i guess uh a sword of eden if not the sword of eden uh, Excalibur, because we also saw that in Valhalla, uh, and how it had given its latest wielder, Oda uh, No, please uh, mess this one up, Oda Nobunaga, 
an unfair advantage in his conquest of Japan. And of course, anyone who has those pieces of Eden always has an unfair, be they have enough of the uh, ancestor gene to access it. Uh, after Nobunaga is assassinated by Hattori Hanzo, yes, that Hattori Hanzo, Hattori Hanzo Steel, uh, Taka becomes part of the Brotherhood and under Hanzo is trained as an assassin or a shinobi. Uh, the Brotherhood then tried to transport the recovered sword out of Japan, but are beset by the Jesuit or Templar ships. And it is, it sounds awesome, by the way. Hanzo is assassinated as he considers retirement as a monk. His lord, uh, Tokugawa, uh, charges Taka with finding the killer and recovering the sword. So it seems like uh, Yusuke would be taking over the Taka role. And uh, you can see some art here. But uh, also shout out to this original post when uh, down here at the bottom, he does say, I have other sources that I trust that are telling me that the story might be unchanged after all. I can't go into specifics, but this original poster might not have had the full story. So it's entirely possible that that is still the story and they have just inserted uh, Yusuke um, as uh, the main uh, when uh, he wouldn't have been before. But this uh, has led to the Japanese, and you can see here on Forbes, uh, just giving some of the feedback. They're not happy. You can see these are all translations from Japanese posts. Uh, a game where black people massacre Japanese people in the Sengoku period is a perfect example of Yubi. Uh, is this what happens when political correctness is taken to the extreme? Uh, and then them just saying, you know, the sword is in the wrong position. Uh, I wanted Yusuke to appear as an ally. Are they, ma are, are they mocking Japan? They should have made someone like Saiso an assassin. Uh, it's a bit disappointing. I wanted to play as a Japanese ninja. It's my favorite game since I started with Syndicate and I have played every Yeah, sorry, you don't get your representation. American black people get your representation because reasons. Um, here, just more, just more uh, for, for Japanese uh, people. Um, as you can see, this is Ubisoft Japan. Why do they go out of their way to use black people, even though it's set in Japan? If they wanted to use black people, they could just change the setting, but it's too mysterious. For the first time, I understand what cultural appropriation was. I mean, there you go. And just one last thing. I just thought this was humorous. Someone posted that uh, if you... <laughs> Chat GPT, when asked, cannot tell that the new female protagonist is female. You see here, when shown the new female protagonist for Assassin's Creed, they asked Chat GPT, is this character male or female? Chat GPT says, the character in the image has androgynous features, making it difficult to determine their gender based on appearance alone. The character's hairstyle, clothing, and expression do not provide clear gender indicators and then you can see here with tally from mass effect it was a decade ago based on the visual cues and body shape in the image the character appears to have a feminine physique the design elements such as a narrow waist and the curvature of the hips and the overall silhouette are commonly associated with female so just it just goes to support what we keep seeing a trend of the female protagonist are ugged up everything else is diversified up and yeah there you have it from a Japanese person themselves. I've never truly understand cultural appropriation until now. So I'm sorry. Uh, some of the worst cope I've seen is just go play uh, Ghost of Tsushima if you want that. Yeah. So if you want a Japanese samurai in your Japanese samurai Assassin's Creed, you have to go play a game that's not even in the fucking series to enjoy it, according to those people. Otherwise, just enjoy the diversity, bigots. Uh, just enjoy the diversity. Thank you, Massa. May I have another? Anyway, let me know what you think of this. Make sure to like, share, and sub. If you have done that, thank you. If you're going to do that, thank you. And uh, let me tell you, when I say I ain't no fair weather fan, I liked all of them. And this, this is DEI bullshit. Hashtag not my Assassin's Creed. Well, bye.